Good morning, Battlegrounds enthusiasts. I hope everyone had a good rest without having to keep one eye open like a real contestant would. To recap, yesterday we visited the northern parts of Erangel, starting from Kameshki and ending up in Gatka. Today we're trekking back across the island to the eastern shores, so pile back into our authentic Battlegrounds tour agency UAZ and let's get moving. Our first stop today is simply known as the Ruins, and is one of Erangel's most historic landmarks. What you're seeing is actually the remaining foundation of a giant castle that predates most other structures on the island. Unfortunately, with resistance bunkers lining its border, it was always at risk of attack, as we can see from the occupation's tanks still lying around. Following the road to the east, we find Rozak, which is pretty much smack dab in the middle of the core island. Economically speaking, Rozak was a nice central hub, as many of the island's major roadways joined up here to make use of its bridges across the river. Now strategically, if you're looking to keep an eye on enemy movements, the outlooks around the well-traveled city provide pretty reliable information. For people just trying to live their lives, Rozak was quiet enough, and nearby the island's school as well. Rumor has it that the battlegrounds administrator himself attended that school, before the conflict around here got too bad. Oh, Yasnia here was a strange marriage of rural and residential. It's one of the biggest cities on the island, even though it's surrounded by farmland on every border. They were good, hard-working, and humble people here, which probably made it all the more jarring when the military moved in and took over. Humble beginnings or not, it didn't take long for those hayfields to become mortar fields when the conflict escalated. A little southeast of Yasnia, there's an out-of-place structure for what we know about the island. Erangel was known for having a relatively meek and humble population, so whoever built this mansion compound either had some political power or ran one of the island's commercial ventures. Historians believe that the hole blown in the side was from a resistance attack, judging by the photos found in some of the bunkers. Now, for the most part, the battlegrounds are kept as close to natural as possible. What we're about to see is one of the few cases of post-battleground construction on any of the fields. This building here is special to the island. Original construction was abandoned at some point before the bombs, but after Erangel became a battleground, it was decided that this building would serve as sort of a museum, commemorating the Adams' past as well as some of the key influential organizations in Battlegrounds history. Construction is still underway, but will be completed soon, so make sure to take our tour again on your next trip. We've seen military bunkers and outposts all over the island so far, but this one as historians a little baffled. The hillside artillery here would have made a pretty good defensive point for any enemy aircraft coming in from the southern coast of the island, but that direction would have been the allies of the military as well. This spot was a little close to Sosnovka for us to assume the resistance control. Regardless, it makes for an interesting stop on our tour and always gets our guests thinking up their own theories. Historic Erangel wasn't really known for rampant crime, but the military sure made use of the island's prisons while trying to keep control over the population largest of which is coming up here. Prisoners were kept locked up during the night and put to work during the day. Now, normal citizens weren't treated much better, but at least they had a home to go back to once the work was done. That was quite a long day, and we certainly don't want to overwhelm you, so we're going to stop and rest for the night here. Tomorrow, we finish up our tour with some of the major remaining areas of the island. The good news is, each of you gets to spend the night in one of Erangel's historic prison cells. This type of experience can only be had with the Battlegrounds tour agent. So remember to leave that five-star review and tell your friends and family all about how you got to experience the battlegrounds like never before. Sleep well, inmates. 